So here we are at Triple Two Offshore. We actually should have been back in the gold coach on the road two days ago, uh, but we've had a slight hiccup. We had both engines in front of the cars ready to go in on our second last day, which would have made the last day quite easy, a straightforward engine install and a pack up. Uh, but as we we're just checking over the engines and doing the final service, we actually picked up a little bit of a problem with an exhaust valve picking up in the guide. Um, and we had no choice given that we're stuck on the road away from home for so long, but to get permission from supercars to remove the seals on the engine under their supervision, pull the head off and pull the valve out and have a good inspection of it. And it turned out that it wasn't far off uh, becoming quite a big problem and even uh, potentially having a blow up. So uh, given that all these four engines, we only have four engines at the moment, uh, given the conversion was pretty last minute over to Ford, we had to strip all four engines. So as we should have been driving out the driveway, <laughs> we've tore all four engines down, again with supercars permission to try and get on top of this issue. So we've had a few pretty big days. Uh, first one's back together and about to go in car 15. The second one here is probably an hour away. Uh, and the third and fourth, as you can see, we've still got quite a, a lot of work to do. So it will uh, be a little bit of a quicker road trip over to Darwin from here. And hopefully we can sort this issue out and, and get through the weekend at Darwin. It's gonna be pretty nerve wracking though. There'll probably be a few engine out uh, events over the weekend and header pipes off just to have a good look and assess it as we can. Uh, without pulling the engine apart again and um, hopefully we've sorted the issue out so fun times but uh, can't wait to hit the road again. So it looks like the issue we're having is the valve guides being the wrong material and being too hard. So the engine that we just dynoed last night has done like 20 minutes running and it's already picked up two valves, which means we're in a bit of trouble. So all the engines we've got are not usable. Um, the two heads that we've got up the road have been taken to a shop to get new guides put in. And we've got a, two new sets of valves, exhaust valves that can go in those heads, which is good, so we're fine. But the issue is that we won't get those heads to Darwin, we'll try and get them in someone else's truck, but we won't get them until um, Thursday morning probably. So I'll get permission to unload the engines out of the truck Thursday morning and try and set up in a garage and, and build them both Thursday which means you'll have two engines for Friday that will hopefully be sweet for the next, you know, three or four rounds, no problems. And then when we get back over this neck of the woods, we'll have to try and get another one or two sets ahead. So we've always got at least one spare and get them converted. So a um, bit of a disaster, uh, but we'll get through it, no dramas. It'll be too easy. <laughs> <laughs> so from here, all we can do is basically start packing up. I'll try and get um, the engines away in, in some sort of order and maybe do a bit more work on them um, here, just scraping celastic and stuff off. Uh, we will need to put one of those, that complete one, in a car. That, that one has actually done um, two and a half thousand k's and it's only just had one little nick on one valve so worst comes to worst that'll probably get through a couple of rounds no dramas and that'll be a good spare so maybe I'll complete that one we'll sit it in the car to get it there and then the two that are completely um, stripped will stick in the engine boxes so we'll do that um, give me an hour that can go in here and in the meantime we'll just start throwing everything in the truck and no point having a, a big day
Our time at Triple Two Offshore has finally come to an end. We had a really good facility here to work with. The cars have been prepped and uh, they're ready for action in Darwin. There's only one problem. We've actually found the issue with the engines and we're leaving here for Darwin with not a single engine to run in the cars. They're all sitting in the truck, either in their engine boxes or on trolleys that we've borrowed from these guys with no cylinder heads. The cylinder heads are gonna remain here in Brisbane and get some work done to them and hopefully meet us in Darwin on the Thursday of the race meeting where we'll have to get all of this gear back out of the truck and assemble at least two engines on Thursday and Friday of the race meeting and get the cars back on track. So it's turned out to be a little bit hectic. It's certainly not a good time to have this all going on while we're not on our own workshop, but uh, we'll get it done, that's for sure. Stay tuned.